um, hello and welcome everyone. Um, I would want to talk about this problem um, called helmets in night light. Um, I'm not going to dive deeper into the descriptions that's been written here. Instead, I will try to simplify the problem by explaining this thing. Um, well, basically, the problem actually has um, well, uh, let's imagine that we've got six people, or should I call it N people, in a village, you could call it. Let's say there are N people in a village, and there's a chief, the head of that village. Let's call him or her uh, chief. And um, the goal is that the chief uh, here, or should I call it the, he the head of the village, needs to send a message to each and every member of the village. For example, in here, we have six members in the village. Now, the chief needs to send this, send a message to each and every one of the members of the village. But he or she needs to do, or should I call it, the chief needs to do this in such a way that the cost of sending these messages, the messages that the chief wants to send uh, to each and every members of the village, um, it should be as minimum as possible. Now, when it comes to cost, we need to know what sort of informations are being given as cost. And what do we even mean by these values? We, we're seeing that we've got, we've, we need to take two array values, right? Let's talk about this one first. You see, a value 3 or any value, let's say P, you have to take this value. What this value is, is that uh, chief, when chief sends a message to any of these individuals, now, how do I distinguish them? E, the, the members are like, this is member 1, okay? This is member 1, it's member 2, member 3, member 4, member 5, member 6, okay? Now, each and every member, to each and every member, the chief has the ability to send a message, but that's going to cost 3 bucks individually, 3 bucks. Now, the chief can send each and every one of them individually, 3 bucks. Then it's going to cost 3 times N, of course, but that's not the goal. The goal would be always to figure out whether there is any sort of a minimum possible ways to, you know, find out how to get the message to everyone of the village. Now, in, in terms of cost, we don't just have the cost P that the chief can send to each and every village members. We do have uh, some other informations that we need to know. For each and every member of the village, we're going to take uh, a value. What are these values? The value C, as you can see, I'm I have written here the value C is um, is actually um, uh, the, the 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 cost of that particular person. What do we mean by that? It means that well, this particular member of the village can also send the message, but whoever it sends that message, that individual cost would be four. So similarly, each and every member would have the same cost, individual cost. If he or she wants to send a message message to anyone, then that cost would, is written. Uh, uh, like the chief has the cost three. Uh, similarly, each and every member's individual cost is written. You're going to take input as an array. So, uh, for example, member four would have cost six if he wants to send a message to someone. Then what about this array here, P? Well, uh, this array P actually defines at most how many person that individual member can actually send the message. For example, if I talk about member one, uh, you can see that member one can actually send at most two people message 
it has the ability to send at most two people message each and every one of those messages will cost four bucks so if you calculate the total cost it would be four times two eight bucks so I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here uh, uh, this value is individual message value and this value is like at most how many people this uh, individual can actually send now given all of these informations what are, what do we require we require to output the minimum possible cost uh, that the, the, uh, that uh, that it's going to require to such that each and every one of the village each and every one of the village will get the uh, will get the message and it's going to be done with the minimum possible cost what's the what's the best approach now in order to go for the best approach one thing is for sure is that this mr chief initially knows the message he has the message initially any uh, not, uh, no village member uh, initially no village member has uh, acquired the message has gotten information uh, about that message only the chief knows initially so uh, the answer would always be if I talk about the minimum possible answer would always be this through uh, uh, this p-value that you're gonna take why is that because chief knows the message so he's gonna at least have to deliver to at least one member of the um, of the village uh, to pass that image at least one member of the uh, of the village otherwise uh, uh, no one would be able to know exactly what that message was then it might say you, you might say oh chief is gonna send this one a message and he might pass to at most two people and they might pass to some other people and so on and so forth but whatever uh, approach is done the chief is absolutely gonna have to at least send message to at least one member of the village uh, that's a very important point here now we're gonna move on uh, you see uh, the thing that I talked about that uh, the chief needs to send at least one P that's a must he's gonna have to do it then after that uh, in, in, at least one it, he, he or she might uh, you know give two or three or four that depends on the approach but whatever the approach is at least once you have to the chief have to um, uh, send that message to at least one of those village members now here comes the big question which member should the chief actually give the message what would be the efficient way which member uh, by sending messages to which member would lead me the uh, minimum possible cost now that is a that is also a, a very uh, big question now well what are we uh, now what I what I will claim is that in order to get the minimum answer the chief is gonna always find someone having the minimum cost of uh, sending message and the maximum number of people that he can send that message what I mean by is that uh, whoever the chief is he's gonna always try to find out someone who has the minimum cost of sending messages to other people and who has who, first he's gonna look who has the like minimum cost of sending the message then he's gonna look uh, if the minimum number if, if that cost value is um, first condition is that the minimum cost the second condition is what maximum number of people that I can send that message that type of person I need for example if I do talk about uh, the previous array uh, you will you will see that member 3 qualifies for that condition what I mean by is that ultimately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort the these two arrays in such a way that it satisfies a condition what is that condition I'm gonna sort this uh, you know pair of array or whatever you can call it based on the cost value if the cost value is equal 
descending order uh, uh, in whichever order you want to sort ascending or descending I, I was sorting you know uh, descending order now if uh, I now after after how are you gonna sort it what I did was I did descending order sort cost from big to small from large to minimizing value if the cost value is equal then what I'm gonna do is sort ascendingly uh, based on the you know at most person array value now that will be descending if the values are equal I was sorting the at most person value as ascending order why is that because that way at the end of the array I will get the best possible person uh, who whom the the chief is gonna deliver the message because that's gonna uh, give me the best possible output why is that because that person has the lowest cost and that person can actually based on that lowest cost he can actually send maximum number of you know people based on the values of the array or comparing the values of the array I hope you do understand what I'm trying to say here so uh, the basic order that, that I'm gonna sort is descending order in terms of the cost value if the cost value is equal then ascending order in terms of the at most person value such that we get a value at the end of the array of these pair array or whatever you call it which will have the lowest cost and based on that lowest cost well, based on doesn't matter how many lowest cost we have we have the highest amount of people that he can you know send that message so we start from here we have our starting point we have our starting point from here now what I did was in the code is I reversed the order uh, uh, you know for the easier iteration but you can also traverse from the back uh, that's your choice the, uh, the main uh, thing is you start for uh, you format the pair array in this order and you're gonna start from this best possible member now how you're gonna move it you will simply what you're gonna do is simply uh, check each and every value from here the first task that you're gonna do is add P to your answer because chief is going to have to send that message to this p this person so answer will be initially three now what you are going to do next you will traverse from here now this member has already gotten the message now what he's going to do he's going to try to send that message to at most two people which two people do you think he's going to send the message is it the is it the first two or 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 the last two here now in order to get the efficient answer what you have to do is simply send the immediately following two people the message it's pretty intuitive I hope you you will get that because if you you know give them the message if you give them the message then you, you know it that they're gonna have a bigger cost you don't want that you want to send people who is gonna have lower possible cost which will do the same thing further and further down the line now that's exactly what's going to happen that two value uh, to, uh, at most two person who are these two people this okay I'm get this this person member number six is sending member number five and member number four that message now once you do that this value reduces to one uh, reduces to actually two but uh, zero because he has already sent uh, the, these messages now then after that what's gonna happen you will traverse from here you have like what three people uh, uh, th this person can actually send at most um, three people the information and this person can also add at least you know uh, one people uh, at most one people the information now simply it's gonna it's gonna go down like that simply it's gonna go down like that you know uh, it will send it, it, it will try to send these people and these people and these people but along uh, I hope you're getting the flow here how this is actually gonna work serially it's gonna work you know um, sequentially 
the sequential way is going to try to pass that message. But in the process, in the process inside, you will also check something uh, for the uh, uh, what will be that condition. That condition is that if any point inside the array, if any point inside the array, you see that the p value that the chief was referring to, that I can send the message, you know, chief can, has the ability to send that message. If that value at any point is less than or equal to the current cost value, if that happens at some point, you know that the, well, uh, the these people don't need to send uh, messages further down the line. Chief can do this part so so in such easy way and it will also lead to uh, an efficient result because p is less than or equal to that cost value and that's exactly the method that you can apply here how you can apply how you would apply that um, for example uh, from two you come here you come here you see that it's three which is less than or equal to p p was also three in that example now uh, what's going to happen is you you saw that okay so chief has the ability to do that part why am I gonna bother uh, uh, mr. chief so what's what 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 mr. chief is gonna do is he's gonna simply add those p-values because the chief knows that the further down the line the costs are greater than what he's gonna you know send so it will be better for uh, the chief to send those messages I hope you do understand what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so if any cases arrive, you see p equal to 3, then you know, okay, I won't have to do that. The chief is going to, the member's not going to do anything. The chief is going to uh, send messages throughout the process like this. And you will add these values. Now, how did I do these things in the code section? Let's take a look at it. The first thing that I did, I took the values, I took them inside a structure, I did sort them according to the th uh, the way that I actually talked about, and uh, then I reversed it for simplification of the iteration, and uh, I took a, actually a pair queue for the for storing purpose because of the things that I was trying to do, you know, sequential uh, sequential iteration and keeping track of those values, how many values that I have, how many persons that I have, you see, and this was the condition that I was talking about. If at any moment the cost P is less than or equal to that cost, uh, which is remaining in the queue, and Q is actually tracking the iteration because you will pop the value if at some point the at most person value that you are deducting each and every moment if it's get if it gets equal to zero you won't have that member you won't have that members power so the following member comes now it's definitely Q it's not stacked because you are sequentially doing the stuff uh, that's why uh, you will pop if uh, you know the at at most person value is zero and each and every time you will add the current values at most person and cost person and at the end of the day you will have your answer because you are adding your answer here result plus equal to the cost uh, how much cost that it took to send message to that current person you see that I have done this thing and finally I have the answer thank you very much for watching um, the video